Global Wind Day is a worldwide event that occurs annually on 15 June. It is organized by Wind Europe, Wind Europe and GWEC Global Wind Energy Council. It is a day when wind energy is celebrated, information is exchanged and adults and children find out about wind energy, its power and the possibilities it holds to change the world. In association with AWEA and GWEC, national wind energy associations and companies involved in wind energy production organize events in many countries around the world. In 2011, there were events organized in 30 countries, on four continents. Events included visits to onshore and offshore wind farms, information campaigns, demonstration turbines being set up in cities, wind workshops and a wind parade. Many events happened on Global Wind Day the 15th of June itself, but there were also events on the days and weeks before and afterwards. In 2012 there were 250 events around the globe and a very popular photo competition. Topic 2007. The inaugural year of Wind Day, it did not become Global Wind Day until 2009, was organized by AWEA. The main idea was to coordinate events organized by national wind energy associations and companies active in the wind energy field. Wind Day in 2007 reached 18 countries in Europe, with a participation of around 35,000 people. 2008 Wind Day 2008 reached 20 European countries and attracted 100,000 people. 2009 This was the first year that AWEA joined forces with GWEC and extended the reach from European wind energy associations and companies to coordinate Wind Day events across the globe and changing the name to Global Wind Day. In 2009 there were 300 events in 35 countries, reaching 1 million people. In 2009 in Portugal the Wind Day was celebrated with an event called Wind Parade. It was organized in the city of Cascais just in front of the ocean. This project aimed to promote renewable energy good practices and in particular wind energy. It was supported by the city council and conceived by Energia Lateral and implied the installation of seven Eskstream micro wind turbines in a very visible place by the sea in June to July 9. One of the purposes was to involve children in the event and they were invited for a contest to decorate, paint small dummy wind turbines. Over 50 applications were submitted by 30 schools. The winner decorated a dummy wind turbine with Don Quixote elements comparing his fight against the windmills but in this case the windmills being allies of Don Quixote in an epic effort to improve the environment. 2010 In this year, 220 events took place in 30 countries, including the display of a 29.5 m wind turbine blade in Brussels, Belgium, next to the main building of the European Commission and European Council. More than 1 million people were reached by Global Wind Day communications around the world. 2011 In Brussels, Belgium, the home of AWEA and GWEC, a wind parade in Place de Luxembourg educated people working in the EU area on the benefits and importance of wind energy. Global Wind Day events happened in 30 countries around the world in 2011. Some examples include in France there were 15 events, ranging from wind farm inauguration to a jobs in the wind industry question and answer session. In Austria, journalists leapt from the top of a turbine and abseiled to the ground. 
In Japan there were ten events, involving field trips to wind farms, experimental wind energy facilities and making wind turbines from a kit. In Australia, an open day at a wind farm was available, with a community evening to finish off the day. In Mexico, a public street fair featured a drawing competition for kids and a display of wind energy history. Topic 2012 Global Wind Day Partners organized 250 events around the globe in 2012, from wind farm open days to workshops, from photo exhibition to regattas, from kite flying to charity runs. For the first time, this included events in Mexico, Chile, Israel, South Korea and South Africa. Global Wind Day 2012 gained the support of 18 GWD ambassadors, who were joined by the Danish Presidency of the EU and the United Nations. Kande K. Yumkeller, the Director General of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization UNIDO, and the leader of Secretary General Ban Ki-moon's Sustainable Energy for All initiative said, we need to double the share of renewable energy in the global energy mix by 2030. This can be achieved with significant contribution from wind energy, both grid-connected and for small-scale decentralized systems. The Global Wind Day on 15 June, does play a central role in contributing to the UNSG's Sustainable Energy for All initiative through galvanizing the much-needed support for the wind energy industry from political leaders around the globe. The Wind in Mind photo competition saw 2,300 photos from over 40 countries submitted. 2018 For 2018, WindEurope and GWEC launched a global photo competition to capture the power of wind in the run-up to Global Wind Day. <laughs>